Tape is really tricky tape. Very sticky and hard to handle. Ow! Oh. 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 Whereas this stuff is great. It's called masking tape. Yeah, and it's sticky, but not too sticky. So it peels off easily. Yeah. Oh, this gives me an idea. Let's try something. Try using masking tape to create a fantastic masking tape pattern. Let's make it! We're going to need some things from the Doodle Drawers. Some coloured paper. Some paint brushes. A sponge and, of course, some masking tape. Now, to make your masking tape pattern like this, start making a pattern onto your coloured paper. Put long strips of masking tape across the page, like this. and then stick long strips down the page like this. Now look, it makes a kind of crisscross pattern. And when you've finished, paint over your pattern and leave it to dry. When the paint is dry, very carefully peel the masking tape off. Now look, the paper has stayed light blue where the tape was stuck down. Now do the same again, but this time move the masking tape so that it overlaps a little bit from where it was before, like this. Then cover the whole page in a different coloured paint. And this time you could try using a sponge to give a different effect. And then leave it to dry. And then carefully peel off the tape again. I'm really happy with my picture, but if you like, you can do a picture using different patterns, like this one. You can put your masking tape wherever you like. So try making an amazing masking tape pattern. Now, where did I leave that tricky sticky tape? No, I can't see it anywhere. The shapes are asleep again. Let's wake them up! <laughs> hey, 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 take it away! Oh, hey, ah, yeah! <laughs> Circle. 
The triangles are making a picture. What's it going to be? Can you guess? It's a fox! Well done, triangle. Time to get back on the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, the shapes are asleep again, but they're still brilliant! I love it when the... Tucky here! Minute make time! Minute make time! Ooh, it's minute make time! <laughs> Here's what we're making today. It's a cake case jellyfish. Look at him there in all his glory with his long flowing tentacles. Now, to make a cake case jellyfish, you will need a rectangle-shaped piece of paper, some glue, a cake case, now that's normally used for making cakes, some scissors, a pen, some different coloured strips of tissue paper, some sticky tape and some white stickers. Now, don't worry if you haven't got any white stickers. You can always draw circles on white paper instead and cut them out. Now, do you think we can make a cake case jellyfish <gasps> in just a minute? No way! You must be joking! I'm not joking, Toki. Making is a serious business. But I'm going to have to be very quick. Don't worry. I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Start the clock! Let's go! Let's get our rectangle of paper, fold it in half, and then with our scissors, very carefully, cut out a tongue shape. There we go. Round and round. Now remember to be careful because scissors are sharp. When you open it up, it looks like that. Great. Let's get some glue and stick it there. That's where our cake case is going to go. On it goes. And now fold the cake case in half like that. Pinch the folded ends and fold it back like that to make a mouth. Hello. Hello. Great. Let's get some stickers and stick them on. They're going to be the eyes. There's one. Okay, there's another eye. There. Right. Let's turn him over and put on his tentacles. There we go. And put on some dots for eyes. And there you've got a jellyfish! Time! That was close, but it was worth it. Look, you can use your jellyfish as a puppet. Hello, Mr. Jellyfish. Hello, Mr. Maker. Fantastic! And you can try other coloured tissue paper too. A cake case jellyfish. Made in a minute. Why don't you try it? Oh, good idea. Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Fold a piece of card in half. Cut out an oval body shape. Stick the cake case in the middle of the body. Then fold it in half and pinch the folded end tight and push the open end back to make a mouth. Stick on white stickers and add black dots for eyes. Then stick strips of coloured tissue paper along the back of your cake case jellyfish for tentacles. Try making it in a minute. Hello, Mr Maker. Guess, Guess what we're making today? Oh, I don't know. Tell us. <laughs> I'm red. I'm orange. I'm blue. I'm yellow. Light blue. It's a submarine. Well done, everyone. See you next time. 
now it's time to frame it. Frame it. Frame it. Now have a look at this. Look at this great farmyard scene. You can't see anything. Well, hiding on the white paper is a picture that's so good, you'll be able to frame it. You'll need a white wax crayon, some ink, a paintbrush and some shape cutters. You can use any cutter shapes you want, like these. This man shape will look good. Put your shape onto a piece of paper and use a white wax crayon to colour inside it. And no, I'm not going bonkers. You may be wondering, why put white crayon onto white paper? You can't see it. Trust me, this is magic. Just wait and see. Let's try some other shapes. How about this rabbit shape? And his good friend the pig. Every farm should have a cat. Meow. As it's very early in the morning, it'll still be dark. So let's put a moon and some stars in the sky. When you're happy with your shapes, colour inside them all with the white wax crayon. Now it's time to see our invisible picture. So get some coloured ink and paint it all over. Here's what we've been waiting for. Look what's happened. The ink won't show in the places where you made your wax crayon shapes, but it will show on the paper. And you've ended up with a great picture. Why don't you have a go using whatever shape cutters you like? What a great way of making a really clever picture. Now all that's left to do is frame it. Fantastic. And here's another brilliant way of making a picture. Watch this. Any ideas what it is yet? It's a busy city at night. Good job! Look, the buildings are reflected in the river. Yeah. I'm going fishing today. I've got my fishing rod. Whoa. I've got my fishing box. Look at that. And I've also got my lovely wriggly wiggly worms that fish think are really tasty. Mm. And what's more, the weatherman says it's going to be the most beautiful day. Oh, no! I'm not going anywhere. What am I going to do with my worms now? Fish think worms are really tasty, but who else does? Blech, not me. <laughs> oh, that's right. Birds think that worms are really tasty. And that gives me an idea. Let's make something. An amazing magnetic worm catching game that you can play on your own or with your friends. Let's make it! We'll need some things from the doodle drawers! <laughs> Coloured paper and card. Some pipe cleaners. Some string or wool. Hmm, we need some feathers! Where are the feathers? Oh, here they are. Thank you. And some sticky stuff. Now, to make a magnetic worm catching game, like this one here, we'll also need some googly eyes and a small magnet. Now, if you haven't got these at home, don't worry, you can get them from an arty and crafty shop. I'll be back in a tick. Got them! Right, I'm going to leave my magnet and my googly eyes over there for now because it's time to make our bird. Now for this, we need to draw two circles. One big and one small. Now here's a tip. Get a roll of sticky tape and for the big circle, draw around the outside like this.
And now, for the small circle, move the sticky roll down just a little bit, like that, and then draw in the inside of the roll. Now we need to take our scissors and very carefully, because scissors are sharp, whoa, cut it out. Now we need our googly eyes. Here they are. But if you haven't got googly eyes, don't worry. You can always make some like this. There, they look just as good. But I think I'll use these ones for now. Let's stick them on. There we go. Next, we need to give our bird his beak. And for this, we'll need a triangle of orange paper or we could use a triangle of white paper coloured in orange. Let's stick it on. There we go. Hello, Mr Bird. <laughs> Ooh. Now let's stick the feathers on. Now we need to get our magnet. The magnet sticks to the metal in the pipe cleaner. It's magic! Let's stick the magnet onto our bird on the back of his beak. There we go. Stick that down there. And now we need to get some wool and stick that to the back of our bird, just there. Also with some sticky tape. And now, very carefully, we need to get our scissors and cut some pipe cleaners into worms. Now you're ready to play the magnetic worm catching game, either on your own or with a friend. Whoa, whoa. Now let's see who can pick up the most worms in the quickest time. Right after you. No, after you. Oh, I tell you what, let's just go on three. Okay. One. Two, three, go! go! Oh, I've got one! I've got two at a time! It's oh, two. no! Oh, another one! I've got three! I've Me got too! Three. I've got two! Oh, quick! Come on! Oh. Oh. That was a great game! Yes, it was a great game! Thanks for your help! No problem! <laughs> time to go! Time to go! Oh, that's it for now. My making time's over, but yours is just beginning. See you soon. It's time to put all this stuff back in its box. If you like making things like Mr Maker, visit bbc.co.uk forward slash CBeebies for more ideas. Yeah. <laughs>